I am the greatest. Someone with power! Someone with power! What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Vici, and today I'm bringing you guys a tips and tricks video. Um, one of the comments on one of my previous videos, either she peed or one of the others, um, he said he just got one of my friends, or one of my subscribers, Will. He said he just got Black Ops 3, and he's struggling, you know, with aiming and accuracy, and he said, how can I get better? How can I improve my shot? And so today I'm going to go into a private match. There'll be a few bots. I'll first show you some stuff with wall, like on a wall, like just the spray of the guns. And um, I want to keep you keep in mind that I'm only using three guns. And in my opinion, these are the three best guns in the game. And if you want to dominate, you should use these guns. Um, so the guns we'll be using are going to be, oops, they're going to be the M8, the VMP. We're going to be using the VMP without grip, one with, one without, and then Vesper with grip and without grip. So, it's just, you can use a grip, but I suggest you don't. It just, it helps improve your shot even better. Um, on the MA, for example, the gun I use the most, I literally don't use grip, just because I'm so used to it. But, let's get right into it. So, um, one thing about this game, just about gun skill in general, like, you don't want to challenge a gunfight that you can't win. And I know that is like a separate issue other than aiming, but it's still relevant. If I'm, for example, see a guy and he gets one bullet into me and he has a better angle or advantage, I feel like that. Um, that comes from just playing over time, having that feeling. But uh, if I feel like he has a better advantage th over me, I'm not going to challenge it. I'm not going to peek it again. I'm going to wait for my health to regen. Maybe even like, play it really slow and like maybe he'll, he'll pre-aim that corner and I'll just wait and wait and wait. And eventually he'll look away and then I can take my chance and try to challenge him. So first we'll show the M8A1. I did put a few bots so you can see me shoot at him. Uh, they might kill me a couple times, so don't think I'm, like, CDP, doing poorly. Um, and I'm sorry if the audio has been bad. Uh, so, the M8, Spectre as you can see, is a very accurate weapon. It's very accurate. Uh, the burst, it, there's no them. recoil to really control. Um, I want to go over here. I got to kill this guy first. Okay, so... Down. Here's this wall, right? If you aim it with M8 and shoot, you see your spread? It's gonna be very centered. It's not it's not gonna spray much. And this is with this is with grip. I mean without grip. So like just keep this in mind. I'm aiming in, it's it's staying there. Look, all those shots are staying right there in that circle. So it's a very accurate weapon and it does high damage. Now if I were to hip fire, of course it's gonna spread out. But it's in like a little circle type pattern. Um, but I don't, you're not going to really be hip firing at all. You shouldn't, uh, especially with a AR. But once again, aim in. This gun's so easy to control. I'm not even putting my finger on the stick. I'm not, uh, you don't even have to fight the recoil. Uh, you just aim. Um, it's one, that's why it's one of my favorite guns. For example, not touching the aiming stick, just the trigger. And it literally, like, does, it doesn't jump at all. There's no need to, like, pull it down. For example, this, you see how it kicks up? Like, you have to, like, c control it. Um, controlling recoil is a key part. So, like, for example, I know it's going to jump a little bit. So, if I know that, I'm going to aim a little lower like I did right there. I aimed at his feet and eventually got to his chest. Right here, I'm going to aim a little lower. It'll get to his chest. Once again, I'm going to aim somewhat lower since I know this gun kicks back. It'll, it'll kick up. And it's going to kick up. If I aim higher, like, I'm going to miss a few bullets. Um, of course... I'm not gonna try to brag, but like my accuracy is better than the average COD player. So the VMP from a distance does recoil, as you can see, it climbs up pretty dramatically. Up close, it's not an issue because you can melt someone right away and be very accurate. Um, and from a distance, if I were to just not hold the stick, let's change classes actually. So we're gonna do the VMP with the grip. Um, I'm gonna just jump off and kill myself. So, VMP with a grip. So this is gonna, the grip improves accuracy always. It always will, it helps the control and the recoil. So without, and I'm not holding the aiming stick, just the left tr uh, L, L1 and R1. It still goes up. 
okay? And it goes in a, like, spray type pattern, correct? Now, if I control it, which I can do, that's me controlling it. It stays in a grouped. You want it, you want your bullets to stay grouped because it's gonna be more accurate. Then that means from like certain distances, you can hit your target better. Um, that's a kill. For example, like right there, I didn't miss a bullet. Um, right there. I mean, that this is bot. They're kind of ruining it. But right here, like this guy. Well, I'm not gonna shoot him. So right here, controlling the recoil. It stays in a somewhat grouped area and really? that's good um you see if i just aim in and just let it rise it's still somewhat grouped now keep in mind that's medium range and this gun's not really meant for long range combat but uh so right here just aiming in without controlling of course it goes straight up if i go here and control the recoil it stays extremely grouped so it's all about controlling recoil um Let's change classes to one without grip, so we can uh, see what that looks like. We're gonna jump off the map real right here, or let this guy kill us. So right here, this is without grip. This is just quick draw. That dude's shooting me. I want to come back a little more. Okay. Infantry neutralized. So, right here, without like you controlling recoil, it jumps up way more than it does with grip. So, and the controlling it is going to be a lot harder. Since it doesn't have grip, it's going to be a little more... I mean, I'm going to be able to hit that. But your average COD player is not going to be able to control it as well. Um, for example, like, look, right there, that's a perfect spray. That is hitting someone's target. My body fully takes up this space. And uh, it's going to it's gonna get in the hitbox and you're going to kill your enemy. Um, so let's change guns since this guy's going to kill me. We're going to use the Vesper with grip and quick draw. Now, this gun has major kick. Uh, so, I actually, okay, is that guy gonna, if one of these guys pushes me, okay, he won't. So right here, not, just not controlling recoil, it kicks up. Now this is with grip. It kicks up, but it's still relatively accurate, it's not going side to side, it's just going up and down. Um, now if I control the recoil, of course, it's still, it's, this gun is very hard to control. For example, if this guy's far away, I can hit him, but it's gonna take a little more time. Get the shots. Uh, this is a good spot to practice on. Just make sure they stay grouped. And see, that's a good spray. Uh, this guy's running up. So, not Smoke. aiming in. Or not, like, controlling. It's going to go up and to the left or up and straight up into the air. It's going to up to the right, up to the left, or straight up. That's what's going to happen. Um, for example, see, this time it goes straight up. And that time it went straight up again. So, that's without controlling. It's all about controlling the recoil, and uh, my tip for controlling recoil, let me jump off the map real quick, is, like, you don't want to fight it so hard to the point where you're just, like, pulling down on your screen. You want to, like, fight it just very little, like, very little. Like, just, like, keep, sort of put some pressure on your uh, analog stick, but just, like, not to the point where you're doing that. You don't want that. You want, like, steady burst, accurate line. Um, right here, as you can see, I just like I'm, I'm slowly pulling down, not fast, not aggressive, just slightly, and that's what it gives you. That's their outcome, and that's what you want. Uh, so this one, I believe, is just grip. I oh, know this doesn't have grip. So, uh, so this is what it's like spraying without grip. Let's reload. It goes up. Actually, the, no, the thing I noticed about grip while I'm doing this video is that grip makes it go, it's still gonna go up, but it's gonna go up at a slower pace. And this, without grip, it just shoots straight up. But uh, when you don't have grip, or and you just hit quick draw and you control it, it's a lot harder. You can even do burst fires if, that, if you struggle. For example, this gun's accurate. A lot of the ARs are accurate, but I feel like the best guns in the game are not. Um, this gun's accurate. I think it's very accurate. The CUDA. Um, but it's all about controlling and pulling down your uh, your shots. You, you, like, you, you, like I said, you don't want to just like shoot and pull it down. You want to shoot and just like barely control it. Um, so like, let's just run around. I'm going to run around with the non-grip Vesper, which is my, one of my favorite guns. And we're just going to shoot at the bot just for a little bit. 
because this video is going to be coming to an end soon. So this guy right here, I'm going to let him get a little far away. Okay, he went around the corner. This guy, though. I don't really miss that many bullets. And because if, if someone's from a distance, like, I know this guy's coming from a distance. I, like, burst it. I don't, I don't like, he's going to be from a distance. You want to burst it. You don't want to just spray it. If I just spray it, I'm less accurate. For example, this guy's going to come right here, I think. If I spray, it's not as accurate. Um, although, uh, if I get close, you can spray. Like, let me get close to this guy. I spray, I hit all my bullets. They're gone. Spray, I hit all my bullets. When you're close, you can get away with that. See? But from a distance, like right here, I wish he would come and shoot at me. Uh, he's coming right out here. See? Spraying doesn't always give you that. It's not always helpful. And, um, that can be a negative in certain situations. And that bot is very bad. I deserve to punch him for missing all the shots. But, uh, so is this bot. They are on recruit. So, with that being said, you just gotta control your recoil. Um, pull it down. Don't really be too aggressive with your shots. Um, and it's also about, like, knowing when to get into a gunfight. That's probably the biggest issue. It's all... See, I'm, I was missing all my bullets at that because I was doing too much with the analog stuff. But, Battery down. I, overall, I hope this video helps y'all. Um, if you don't understand what I'm saying, I can make another one if you comment. Or if you think it was a bad video, let me know. Because I'll just take it down and do another one with a, like, a camera on my hands to show y'all exactly what I'm doing. For example, long range. Spectre I know I kind of sprayed right there, but I'm not trying to tell you key, but my accuracy is going to be better than most of y'all. And, um... Wait, look, that's from a distance in that spray-in. It's just all about controlling it and making sure you hit your shots. Over time, with practice, you'll definitely get better. One thing I want to add in that's a major key to success <laughs> in Call of Duty is your controlling set controller settings. You definitely want to play on a lower sensitivity. That increases your accuracy. If I was to turn it up to the max, which I believe is 14, which is insane... I would not be able to hit a shot. Now, when I was younger, I used to play on that just because I thought, oh, it's so cool. If you can play in 14, you're a good player. When I changed it back to, like, lower, I, in Black Ops 2, I played on 8, AW played on 5, and um, Ghost, I played on 6. And now in this game, I played on 4. My shot has gotten so much better, and it is all due to sensitivity. So as you see, I hit all those shots. Right here, I sprayed, and I got fought for it. So, all about controlling your spray and learning how to... It's, it just takes practice and time. If you want, you should go into a private match, put on some bots, and run around and practice. And I guarantee you that will improve your gameplay. So I hope this video helped you out, guys. If it did, make sure you drop a like, comment, don't forget to subscribe. It has been your boy Avicii, and I'm out. Peace.